Lieutenant Slog. Stardate. 28081.3 I am now the commanding officer of this wonderful vessel. Captain Selena Gomez retired today. Nah, nah, what am I thinking? This, that, that's an absolute crappy beginning. Computer erase that and start again. Captain Stock. Lieutenant Lenox. Reporter. This is star date. 280808. To I take command of this lovely ancient vessel, the USS Salvager. That my predecessor, Captain Selena Gomez, took great care of as a training vessel for myself and the rest of my bridge crew. retired. I mean, that's all I really have to say on that one. I mean, it came out of the blue. Admiral Quinn recalled us. Back to space dock and basically just told us that she was retiring after 40 years of service to Starfleet. She was a good eye for the older vessels and the niche vessels. Those old classics. I remember back in the Delta Quadrant when I first left for the stars and heard about the legendary Voyager. first Talaxian to encounter Voyager, Neelix. I think that's where my father got my name for me. He heard about the incident between Neelix and Tuvok and called me Talinox. But once finally the Dyson Sphere opened up and Talaxians were allowed through to the Alpha Quadrant I signed up. My history on a plate right there. Oh, I forgot to mention, I was a salvager. A damned good one of old ships. If I spot something that's from my quadrant, I will be snapping it up in a second. Well, my first recording as captain, not first officer. I may be lieutenant rank, but uh, I'm sure I'll get my captaincy someday. Lieutenant Lee Knox, signing off. What do you mean, Miss Flores? You can't change the image on that diagram over there? It shows an Akira class, not an Oberth class. <sighs> Honestly. Just can't get the diagrams nowadays.
Old hands. This is the captain speaking. As you well know, Captain Gomez has retired. We wish her well on her new job at Starfleet Academy, training up those new cadets in theoretical history before all the time shifting began. So we will take a place. I, Lieutenant Lenox, swear to you. We will continue on and continue her mission into the great unknown. Ensign Flores. Take us out. One quarter impulse. What do you mean Admiral Quinn needs to see me? We're just about to get underway. Oh, okay, okay, I'll be there in a minute. Let's get this ship out of dry dock first. She's been in here too long. Undergoing retrofit. These are new times and different scenarios are going to be happening. We need to adapt. Masava, inform the good Admiral I will be there momentarily. Tavrell, you told me that we will be ready to leave Space Dock. And the dry dock as well. We may we limped over here for the refit. Now you're telling me we can't leave yet because there's a problem in engineering. Fine, I'll go down there and see what I can do. <sighs> Summer inaugural launch this is. Okay, what's the matter? So what you're trying to tell me is the induction coils are not working properly. Get an engineering team on it. Pronto, we need to get this ship out of here now. And when I say now, I mean now. This is not what the captain and I discussed. Thank you, engineering. Well done. Tell your teams to take a little bit of relax and try and get yourself back into a working order down there. Well done. Miss Flores, take us out one quarter impulse. Miss Flores, that's backwards. And it's going to be on forward. Well done. Well done. Let's go over to Admiral Quinn.
Okay, Admiral. What's our first assignment? This is a delicate diplomatic situation. Handle it quickly and decisively. I shall do, Admiral. We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. My friend sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew. I thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders, and the billions of innocents can call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. The late Ambassador Spock. I heard it was a very well renowned person. Right, we are going to the monastery at the gem in the Vulcan system. Miss Flores? Seconds. We have arrived at Bijem in the Vulcan system. We're going to pick him down, hopefully. We'll take the shuttlecraft, whichever one comes first, and go and pick up this Vulcan ambassador. Simple mission get in, pick the ambassador up, get out. Shouldn't be any problems. Or so we think. End log. Yes, Mr. Varel. We have arrived at the Vulcan system. I took the liberty of contacting the Ambassador's aide when we arrived. Tapella says that the Ambassador has certain arrangements that he prefers when travelling. She would like to go over them with you. We'd love to put her on the main screen. Please do. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honour the end of the Call Rec holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. Well, Tapella, this sounds like a quaint old doctor from back in the day that I read all the history books about. No, not all of them, I read a few of them. Dr. Leonard H. McCoy. One of the greats. Yes, sorry. Um, continue. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Thank you. That must be one of those newfangled ships. Well, uh, let's go down there. Have we got one in the shoulder? We do. You're ready to land on Vulcan, sir. When you are ready to make a final approach, let me know. Let me take a look around. Everything appears to be in order. Take it down, Miss Flores. Starfleet Shuttlecraft. 
This is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. Right, thank you, Vulcan Control. Captain, the ambassador and his aide are waiting for you at the temple at the top of this rise. You can speak to them there and find out if the ambassador needs anything else from us before we depart for the mission. It's hard. Yes, yeah, sir. This is just as hard as I remember it being. Well, me and Captain Gomez landed here one time. That was a way mission to remember. If I remember rightly, there is a... I'm just going to go over here quickly because I remember something being over here. Ambassador Jirok? Looks like all the ambassadors are down here. Interesting. Live long and prosper, Ambassador Spock. You will always be in our hearts and minds. It's a thing I have to do when I come to Vulcan. I don't know why. Although one thing I did forget, I forgot how heavy this place is when I have to run up these mountain sides. They're not in the place, the nicest place to run up. Oh. They're even having problems running up the mountain side. That's not good. Ambassador Sockets aide Tapella has requested you meet with her before speaking to the ambassador. Thank you, Tavrell. Oh, definitely having problems getting up the mountains. <sighs> you look familiar. Why do you look familiar? Tapella. What do you need to speak to me about? Welcome to Vulcan, thank you. I regret to inform you that we have come to an impasse in completing your mission. Allow me to explain. As you know, Bajem is sacred to the Vulcan people and access to it is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin, leader of the Order that maintains the monastery, has chosen this moment to illogically refuse to grant Ambassador Soketh permissions to meet with the Abbot at Bajem. This is abnormal. But can't this trip wait until Seven changes his mind? Sorry, that was the coffee I had earlier. It's a human beverage, you wouldn't like it. I seem to have taken a great fondness to it. The Ambassador has considered going to the Council to request that they overrule Seven, but the process will take time that he simply does not have. If the Ambassador is unable to complete his journey to Bijem now, he would have to delay it until after the trade conference at Corridon is complete, and that could take weeks. I wonder why Savin won't grant the Ambassador permission. The Ambassador, I'm afraid, has spent too much time off world. I have seen it change. His interactions with other species have grown easier over the years, but our own people have become more challenging for him to deal with. Perhaps you could speak to Seven. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you might have an easier time than he has in convincing him to grant the Ambassador's request. I'll speak to him. 
Seven. High priest seven. There you are. Peace and long life. To you as well. Sorry to interrupt you, but uh... Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I do, actually. Why you tell me more about Surak? I've heard of new teachings here and there. Centuries ago, the Vulcans were creatures of emotion. We fought one another in a series of wars that devastated our planet. Our species was on the brink of annihilation. Surak taught us to embrace peace and to put aside our emotions in favor of logic. Surak ushered in a time of awakening on Vulcan. His writings, the Kirshara, shaped all that we are. Without Sirak, the Vulcans you know would not exist. Ah, the Kirshara. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Tell me about the monasteries. Even a people who reject emotion require peace and contemplation. We are a spiritual people. Our rituals guide us throughout our lives. Vulcans who choose a life of study and isolation, as the monks at Pajem have done, help us maintain our connection with our ancestors. The monks' study of Sirach's words in the Kirshara give us all a greater understanding of who we are and who we should strive to be. That sounds pretty good, I, you know, I wanna... Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Well, oh, I wanna become better. What have you heard? Sokoth has spent more and more time away from Vulcan in recent years, and seems ill at ease in what was once his home. Tapella admits he has changed in the past few months. He spends hours closeted in his study, and does not share meals with his staff as he used to. Tapella says that the stress of the war with the Klingon Empire is taking its toll. She hopes the peace of Pajim will restore him. Sounds good. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Well, I see nothing wrong. Uh, Sukith says you won't permit him to visit Pujan. Why? Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pujan. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Yeah, I, I remember hearing about the the Andorian invasion of Pajem. Very, very bad time. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Okay, why the Vulcans restrict access to Pajem? I know it's a sacred place, but get me wrong. Many years ago, Pajem was used for political purposes. Technology used to spy on the Andorians was hidden beneath the sacred sanctuary. It should never have happened. Buildings that had stood for 12 centuries were destroyed because we allowed politics and war in a place where there should only be logic and contemplative thought. When the monastery was rebuilt, we pledged to keep it safe from the cares of the galaxy. Only those who seek peace may enter. Is that because the way is shut? I don't know. Do you seek knowledge of the okay. ancestors? What if the abbot agrees to speak to Soketh via subspace? How, how would that work? The monks do not use any unnecessary technology. Even replicators are not permitted on the gem. There is a communications array available to the monks for emergencies. Soketh's request does not qualify. Okay. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Is there any way I can persuade you to allow Ambassador Soketh to visit Pajem? 
I will permit it if you will pledge to me, on your honor as a Starfleet officer, that you will protect Pajem from harm. Sokath says his reasons for wanting to speak to the Abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. You have my word. I will protect it. Okay, that went a little bit better than I thought it would. Ambassador. Welcome to Vulcan. Thank you, Ambassador. Do you have any questions? What do you have to say about Pajem? Pajem is a small world near Andoria. It is sacred to our people. There have been Vulcans on Pajem for centuries. In 2152, the ancient buildings that housed our monastery were destroyed by the Andorians. The Andorians, but they're also part of the Federation. As what was dictated by the, the Babel Conference. It was a failing in our logic that led to conflict with the Andorians. We have corrected our error. After the Federation was founded, a group of Andorians, Vulcans, and humans rebuilt the monastery as a symbol of peaceful coexistence and cooperation. Since then, a group of monks has lived there. They study the ideals of Sirach. Sirach and Kishara, if I remember right. Do you have any questions? May I ask what business you have there? My business is my own. If you must know more, I require a meeting with the abbot. He will not use subspace communications. So if I am to receive his counsel, I need to meet with him directly. Okay. Do you have any questions? I've spoken to Sabin. I've given my word that I will protect Bajem with my crew and my own life. Excellent. Our departure has been delayed long enough by the whims of one man. I am prepared for the journey and can leave immediately. Okay, Ambassador. Shall do, Ambassador. Shall do. Hope you can keep up. Don't worry about my little pet. He's a bit noisy, unfortunately. Uh, ambassador? There you go. I didn't ask if you can keep up with me. Back to the shuttle, we are going back to the salvager. I could have swore that Captain Gomez was going to try and call it. Um. Oh, what was it she was going to call it? She was going to get it renamed when the refit was done to the salvager's folly. Just the painters didn't want to actually paint them. Welcome aboard, Ambassador. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory and you are cleared for departure. Live long Thank you. and prosper. Live long and prosper. Okay. Miss Flores, take us home.